Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian May at Cal OES headquarters and behind me the State Operations Center, which is now being manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week to try and combat these wildfires that are all across the state of California. You see the people in here working. They're trying to not only keep a control of the fires, but this is where people are coming together to help with the recovery, to help with the assistance, getting people in shelters, getting people what they need, people who have been affected by these wildfires. I can tell you, and I'm going to focus on the Northern California wildfires for the moment, the news is good, at least in the firefighting efforts, and that the red flag warnings have expired in Northern California. The winds have died down. That is certainly helping firefighters, although this is still a very dangerous situation, but the red flag warnings have died, died down. As far as the wildfires are concerned, I'll let you know just the scope of what we are still talking about. 15 large wildfires still burning in Northern California. So far, the fires have com burned, uh, combined that is to burn over 217,000 acres. To put that in perspective, that is an area about the size of the city of San Diego. That gives you an idea of just how much has burned so far. Within that burned area, we've had over 5,700 structures that have been destroyed. That includes both private residences and a lot of commercial buildings, unfortunately, that have gone up as well. As of today on Sunday, nearly 75,000 people are still evacuated. That number, though, is greatly down from what we saw just 24 hours ago. We had over 100,000 people evacuated on Saturday, but fire crews as quick as they can as soon as it is safe for letting people get back in their homes so this number is now down the sad number the truly sad number 40 fatalities so far in these combined wildfires that makes this the deadliest week of wildfires in california history now if you have been affected if you're looking on where to go to get registered for some kind of assistance if you're looking for information from fema here's how you start that process you can go to disasterassistance.gov you can also call 1-800-621-FEMA. That's 1-800-621-3362. That begins the process of you getting the information and the assistance that you need. But we also have local assistance centers. This is where you really get face-to-face, one-on-one with not only FEMA officials, but if you need a new driver's license, if you're just looking on where to go, where your next, next steps are, these local assistance centers, and we've opened up in counties like Lake County, Yuba, Orange, Sonoma County, Butte, Napa, Mendocino, we will be adding to these as we need them, as we can put more up. You can find all of these open. Now, if you want individual addresses for where these are, I'm going to recommend that you go to our website, and that is caloes.ca.gov. And once you get there, you'll be able to get not only the addresses for the local assistance centers, but you also see the tab for the California or the October wildfires. And then if you scroll down on our page, you'll see the big tab here. You can click on this and get all the information. We have the latest fire maps. We've got the latest information information on road closures. We've also got much more information on where you can go if you've been affected and you need assistance. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.